uh, I do advocate for a uh, species specific biologically appropriate diet for our species. All animals have a species specific diet, something that they eat specifically and uh, we are no different. And so it's very important to identify what that is and I think all the best evidence shows that that is actually a carnivorous diet, eating mostly if not exclusively fatty meat and that's what people have been doing since the dawn of humanity. And whatever you've been doing forever that is what you're used to doing, that's what you're biologically adapted to doing because that's how nature works. If you're not adapted, if you're not biologically evolved to eat a certain way, you're gonna die. You're not gonna make it, it's survival of the fittest. And so whether or not we were adapted to this way of eating two million, three million years ago, after two to three million years, we damn well are now. And so anyone's saying that, no, 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 actually eating something that didn't exist 50 years ago, that's what you need to do, uh, you, can, you can just write them off as a lunatic. Uh, meat has always provided essential nutrients, right? So this, this is something that we require, okay? How do we know this? Well, the Inuit exist, right? There are no plants in the Arctic Circle. There are no plants during an ice age in an Arctic Circle. What plants were available for the people who crossed the land bridge from Asia to North America during the last ice age? There were none. So obviously, if you can't get everything that you need in the proportion that you need them from meat, then you can't survive. You can't live generationally, and we don't exist. We don't, we're not here right now. None of our ancestors would have made it through the, the, the numerous uh, ice ages, and the Inuits wouldn't exist right now, but they do. And many other examples of, of humanity do, like the Maasai there. And so <clears throat> animal-based diets, but they provide the nutrients. We're evolved, we're biologically designed to eat these things, and, uh, and there are a number of different examples of that. Uh, a number of different s people, such as the Inuit, such as the Maasai, such as the Nanette, the Native Australians, these people all have, are well documented to be eating a lot of meat and they would know which plants to eat, maybe used medicinally or if they were at a point of starvation. And so a lot of people will say, well, they had access to these things, sometimes they ate them, therefore they were eating them all the time. Well, you can't say that about the Inuit because they just never had them. So it's always a good example, always good to think about the, the Inuit or the Nanette or people living during an ice age. And one of the main things is they did not have chronic disease at all. So there are a number of accounts going back hundreds of years that found that these, these populations did not get the so-called diseases of the West. And that's what they had to call them because only people in Western countries were getting these diseases. These people were not. Now, since they've been incorporated into Western society, they're eating more Western food, Western alcohol, Western sugar, Western seed oils, are getting Western diseases, right? Now we just call them getting older.